Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, Dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick. Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel. Pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us prepare ourselves to receive Jesus in this Holy Eucharist. Let us call to mind our many sins and beg the forgiveness by which we are renewed and saved. Have mercy on us, O Lord. For we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. And grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant us, O Lord, we pray, that this saving sacrifice may cleanse us of our faults and become an oblation pleasing to your almighty power. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Daniel. Azariah stood up in the fire and prayed aloud, For your name's sake, O Lord, do not deliver us up forever, or make void your covenant. Do not take away your mercy from us. For the sake of Abraham, your beloved, Isaac, your servant, and Israel, your holy one, to whom you promise to multiply their offspring like the stars of heaven 
or the sand on the shore of the sea. For we are reduced, O Lord, beyond any other nation, brought low everywhere in the world this day because of our sins. We have in our day no prince, prophet, or leader, no burnt offering, sacrifice, oblation, or incense, no place to offer first fruits to find favor with you. But with contrite heart and humble spirit, let us be received, as though it were burnt offerings of rams and bullocks, or thousands of fat lambs. So let our sacrifice be in your presence today as we follow you unreservedly. For those who trust in you cannot be put to shame. And now we follow you with our whole heart. We fear you and we pray to you. Do not let us be put to shame but deal with us in your kindness and great mercy. Deliver us by your wonders and bring glory to your name, O Lord. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Remember your mercies, O Lord. Remember your mercies, O Lord. Your ways, O Lord, make known to me. Teach me your path. Guide me in your truth and teach me, for you are God, my Savior. Remember your mercies, O Lord. Remember that your compassion, O Lord, and your kindness are from old. In your kindness, remember me because of your goodness, O Lord. Remember your mercies, O Lord. Good and upright is the Lord. Thus he shows sinners the way. He guides the humble to justice. He teaches the humble his way. Remember your mercies, O Lord. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Peter approached Jesus and said, Lord, if my brother sins against me, how often must I forgive him? As many as seven times? Jesus answered, I say to you, not seven times, but seventy-seven times. That is why the kingdom of heaven may be likened to a king who decided to settle accounts with his servants. When he began the accounting, a debtor was brought before him who owed him a huge amount. Since he had no way of paying it back, his master ordered him to be sold along with his wife, his children, and all his property in payment of the debt. At that, the servant fell down, did him homage, and said, Be patient with me, and I will pay you back in full. Moved with compassion, the master of that servant let him go, and forgave, forgave him the loan. When that servant had left, he found one of his fellow servants who owed him a much smaller amount. 
he seized him and started to choke him, demanding, Pay back what you owe. Falling to his knees, his fellow servant begged him, Be patient with me, and I will pay you back. But he refused. Instead, he had him put in prison until he paid back the debt. Now, when his fellow servants saw what had happened, they were deeply disturbed and went to their master and reported the whole affair. His master summoned him and said to him, You wicked servant, I forgave you your entire debt because you begged me to. Should you not have had pity on your fellow servant as I had pity on you? Then in anger, his master handed him over to the torturers until he should pay back the whole debt. So will my heavenly Father do to you unless each of you forgives your brother from the heart. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, the parable of Jesus in our Gospel today presents to us a disturbing truth about human nature. Too often, we have double standards. We have a different standard when it comes to ourselves and a different standard when it comes to other people. Look at the servant in the story of Jesus. He begged his master to be lenient to him he want his master to be lenient to him. He asked him, be patient with me and give me more time and I shall pay back my debt. But this same servant was unwilling to be lenient to his fellow servant who also asked the same request double standards. My dear brothers and sisters, many times we are also guilty of this. We live by double standards. We want other people to be good to us, but we are not always good to others. We want people to be generous to us, but we are stingy when it comes to other people. Gusto natin kapag tayo ang humingi, ibibigay sa atin. Pero kapag tayo naman ang hinihingan, hirap na hirap tayong magbigay. We want other people to grant our requests. Kapag may hiningi ako, gusto ko maibigay agad sa akin. But we often deny the requests of other people. We want things to be made easy for us, but we make it difficult for other people. Kapag sa akin, gusto ko sana padaliin na lamang ninyo, pero kapag sa ibang tao, pinapahirap natin. We want people to easily forgive us when we commit mistakes. We want people to be patient and understanding. But when we are the ones who are being asked for patience, understanding, and forgiveness, we refuse to give them. Kapag ako ang nagkamali, gusto natin iintindihin tayo Mahina kasi ako, nagkakamali kasi ako. Pero kapag yung kapwa natin ng nagkamali, hindi natin maintindihan, hindi natin mapagpasensyahan, 
hindi natin mapatawad. We do not want people to judge us, but we easily judge other people. Sinasabi natin, sana intindihin ako at wag akong husgahan, pero ang bilis-bilis humusga sa kapwa. We easily see the faults of others, but we do not want others to see our own faults. Naalala ko po minsan may nagsabi sa akin, Father, why do you allow those sinners to attend Mass at the Manila Cathedral? And I simply said, for the same reason that you and I attend Mass at the Manila Cathedral. Double standards. My dear brothers and sisters, if we ask what we refuse to give others, isn't that selfishness? Isn't that a mockery? Or worse, isn't that hypocrisy? Are we double standard Christians? Today, my dear brothers and sisters, let us once again appeal to God who is rich in mercy. In the same way that, the, that Azariah, in our first reading today, prayed to God to beg forgiveness for the people of Israel. Let us ask God's mercy and forgiveness for the many times that we have lived by double standards for the many times that we have become double standard Christians. But when we ask God's mercy, when we ask God's forgiveness, let us also be ready. Because when God forgives you, be ready also to forgive. When God shows His mercy to you, be also ready to be comp comp compassionate and merciful to others. When God holds His judgment on you, be also ready not to judge other people. When God becomes generous to you and answers your prayers, be ready also to be generous to others. When God forgives you, be ready to forgive. When God loves you, be ready to love. Because if we only want to receive and we refuse to give, that is selfishness. That is hypocrisy. And God hates selfish people. God abhors hypocrites. Please stand. Let us pray to God that we, His people, who have experienced His forgiveness, may bring the joy of reconciliation to the world. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Church, set free by the blood of Christ, may live in harmony and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. That Christian churches may be brought together in the unity of the one gospel of love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. That married couples may learn to forgive and understand one another. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all of us may learn the mercy of Jesus and forgive one another from the heart. 
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the faithful departed may enjoy the peace of God's kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Let us pray in silence for our personal petitions. Let us remember the people who requested our prayers and the intentions offered in this Mass. Heavenly Father, sustain us always with your love and mercy and help us to offer forgiveness to others. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May what we offer you, O Lord, in token of our service, be transformed by you into the sacrament of salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God, for you will that our self-denial should give you thanks, humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with the hosts of heaven, and with one voice of praise we acclaim, Holy, 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 Holy Lord, Lord, God, God of hosts, hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
Please stand. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Broderick our Administrator and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Francis of Rome, St. Dominic Savio, and St. Aloysius of Gonzaga, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us ask the Father to forgive our sins and to bring us to forgive those who sin against us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. <clears throat> Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, I am not, not worthy that, that you should, should enter under, under my roof. roof. But, but only say, say the, the word, word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally come at least spiritually into my heart i embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you 
never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Then. Let us pray. May the holy partaking of this mystery give us life, O Lord, we pray, and grant us both pardon and protection through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May God, founder and ruler of your people, drive away the sins that assail them, that they may always be pleasing to you and ever safe under your protection. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.